Elon Musk has a giant new addition to his plans for colonizing Mars, the Starship rocket. For years, this rocket was merely a concept on paper, but not anymore. On Saturday, September 28th, Musk stood in front of a fully assembled prototype of the rocket as he unveiled SpaceX's future plans. Which future do you want? Do you want the future where we become a space bearing civilization and are in many worlds and are out there among the stars or one where we are forever confined to Earth? And I say it is the first. If all goes according to plan, when Starship is complete, it will tower 387 feet tall, measure 30 feet in diameter, and be capable of transporting people to Mars. For comparison, it will be about five and a half times taller than SpaceX's first successful rocket, the Falcon 1. Starship is the rocket that Musk has aspired to build ever since he founded SpaceX in 2002. And after years of modeling, multiple changes to the rocket's design, and a substantial investment from Japanese billionaire Yasaku Mezawa, it has come out looking unlike anything SpaceX has ever built before. For example, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets are covered by an aluminum lithium alloy. But as you can see, Starship is covered with something different, which Musk called the best design decision of the entire project. Steel is the best design decision on, on this whole thing is a 301 stainless steel. Because at cryogenic temperatures, a 301 stainless actually has about the same effective strength as an advanced composite or aluminum lithium. Unlike most steels, which get brittle, at low temperature, 301 stainless gets much stronger. And unlike the nine engines on SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets, Starship will fly on six more powerful Raptor engines. The ship will have a total of six engines, uh, three um, of the sea level variety of, of Raptor, and those are actually on the rocket right now. In fact, that's a picture of, of just inside that skirt, that's what it looks like. And they, they gimbal, which, is, which means that the whole engine moves. So the way a rocket uh, steers is by moving the entire engine. So whereas an aircraft engine is static and you, you move by moving like the control surfaces like the uh, air ailerons and rudder and elevator and flaps, with the rocket, when the, when the engines are powered, um, you move the entire engine to steer it. The Starship will have three uh, sea level uh, engines that move up to about 15 degrees uh, angle and three vacuum engines that are optimized for efficiency that will not move. So they will be just fixed in place. Musk said that within the next one to two months, SpaceX will launch this Starship prototype called Mach 1 to 12 and a half miles in the air and then land it back home in Boca Chica, Texas. After that, our next flight after that might actually just be all the way to orbit with a booster and the ship. The prototype shown here will probably never reach orbit. That mission will go to an upgraded version of the rocket called Mach 3, which SpaceX could start constructing as soon as next month. And by next year, Musk says SpaceX could be launching people to space on this thing. Whether that's actually the case, we'll just have to wait and see. In the meantime, Musk remains optimistic. To Mars. Exactly.